Hey there everyone, this is Linnea, and I'm going to be making a quick and simple ink blended masking card using some of the products from the February 2019 Flavor of the Month card kit. So I have the banana split level, and it comes with this La La Land Crafts die set. I'm using the rolling pin, and I have some full stick sticky notes, and I die cut a stack of five of these sheets with the rolling pin. I stacked up five of the post-it notes and I added it to just a piece of copy paper so that sticky stuff from my cutting plates wouldn't get stuck. And I ran it through my die cut machine with the rolling pin die. And just like that, I have about 20 die cut rolling pins because I stacked five post-it notes together, die cut it four times, and then I'm just going to peel apart these little masks. So I added my die cuts across a sheet of Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I'm going to start ink blending some Distress inks onto this. These are just the regular Distress inks. I started here with Wild Honey, and it was too light. I was really looking for like a peachy orange because I wanted to blend a light pink into darker pink into a peachy color. So instead I grabbed the Ripe Persimmon Distress Ink and I like that quite a lot better. So I'm going to blend that onto the bottom. In the middle I will blend on some picked raspberry and then at the very top some spun sugar. Leaving my masks in place I'm going to grab some water and just flick on some little droplets. And I'm leaving my masks in place because I don't want that ink to blend into where I've masked off. I want those rolling pin shapes to be bright white behind my ink. I'm just blotting up that water with a towel and then I'm going to immediately go in and start removing these masks because honestly, I didn't know how long it would take for the water to seep through. So I'm going through and just quickly peeling them up I didn't have any tearing of my paper or anything because these are just post-it notes. They're very low tack, but I found that they stuck really, really well. And check out this blending with the, the water splats. I just, I love this background so much. It makes my heart happy. So from collection number one in the card kit is this little Baking Marcy stamp set from La La Land Crafts. And the sentiment says, life is short, lick the bowl. And I just think that's the cutest sentiment ever. Anytime uh, my mom or anybody makes brownies or cookies or whatever, she always still gives us kids the bowl and the spoon to lick. Even though we're all in our 20s and I'm almost 30, we still that's still what we do. So I just love the sentiment. I think it's cute. I stamped it three times onto black cardstock and heat embossed it with white powder. I grabbed my Spectrum Noir clear shimmer pen and I'm just coating these black strips with the glitter. I do this anytime I have a black sentiment strip because I really like the way that glitter just makes it shine. So also included in the extra, the banana split level kit, are these silver glossy hearts from Pink and Main. I love them because they are like mirrored and I think they're so cute. So I'm just going to arrange them in groups of threes onto my card. And then that's it. This is clean and simple, but I love this background. I really think it makes that rolling pin die shine. So you can head over to the Scrapping for Less blog to see still photos and to get some product links. And at this time, there are still some kits available. So make sure you snag yours before they sell out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.